everyone, it's me, Dink. Well, my real name is Donald David Duncan, but we're friends, so call me Dink. Welcome to the Clue Club. My friends, Josh, Ruth, Rose, and I are all a part of it. We love to solve mysteries. And since there's always something mysterious happening in Green Lawn, we'll need to team up with you to get to the bottom of it. Come on, let's see what's going on today. Hey Josh, what are you, a sparrow? It feels like spring, Dink. Perfect time for a little bird song. Right, Ruth Rose? I guess. Hey, look over at the Aquin Apartments. Is that Officer Fallon? Yeah, he's talking to Randy's mom, Lizzie Nugent. I wonder what that's about. Hi, Mrs. Nugent. Hey, Dink. I was just telling Officer Fallon about Randy's bicycle. It was stolen from the storage room this morning. Stolen? Yep. Did you see anything unusual in the storage room? No, it looked the same to me. Hmm. Is there anything else you can tell us? Hmm. Well, we did hear a few strange sounds. Squeaky shoes, jingling keys, and just before I got to the storage room, I heard a loud bird. A bird? What did it sound like? A little like this. Cooey, cooey. Officer Fallon is trying to figure out who might have done it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Nugent. We'll try to help, too. Thanks, Ruth Rose. Randy's really bummed. It's a perfect day for a bike ride. Well, I'll see you all later. Bye, Mrs. Nugent. All right, Clue Club. Looks like we just walked into a mystery. Who do you think could have done it? I don't know. Let's think about what clues we have. A squawking bird. Squeaky shoes. And jingling keys. Squeaky shoes? Jingling keys? That could have been anyone. Yes, most people wear shoes. And have keys. Of the three clues, I think the squawking bird is our best lead. Does a bird have much use for a bicycle, though? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. But maybe the bird will lead us to the thief. Where can we find a squawking bird? Maybe here in Greenlawn. We can start in the woods just past the bike path. Great idea. It's a beautiful spring day. I hear lots of chirping birds. Me too. Let's listen closely. That didn't sound like a squawk. What's that? Those are wild geese. They're not super squawky, though. They sound more like a dog's chew toy. <laughs> or a rubber duck for the bath. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't hear any squawks. Do you? <sighs> no. I suppose we'll just have to wait and listen. I don't know. Clue Club, have you ever heard a bird like this in Greenlawn? That quee, quee. Now that I think about it, no. Maybe we're looking for a more unusual bird. I think you're right, Dink. Is there another place we can hear unusual birds? How about the zoo? There's a great bird exhibit there. Perfect. Then maybe once we find that bird, it will give us a clue about the thief. To the zoo! Wow, there are a lot of birds here. Oh, look at this. It's the teeniest, tiniest owl I've ever seen. It says here, it's an elf owl. It sounds like a little puppy. So cute. Let's focus, Clue Club. Mrs. Nugent said it sounded like a quee, quee. Look, there's the bird exhibit. Let's listen to as many birds as we can and find a match. Come on. Remember, we're looking for a bird that squawks, like this. Quee, quee. Let's listen. This is an Atlantic puffin. Does it sound like a squawk? Nope, it sounds like your cat when she's annoyed. Let's listen to another. This is a kookaburra. Does it sound like a squawk? Nope. 
It sounds like a hyena. Let's listen to another. This is the African gray parrot. That's it. Hmm. It says this bird is only found in the rainforest in Africa. If it lives in Africa, how could Mrs. Nugent have heard that inside the Acorn apartment storage room? I think we need to learn more about this bird. Let's find someone who works here. There's Irene Napper. She works here. Remember? She helped us get to the bottom of that missing panda situation last year. Yeah. Come on, let's talk to her. Hi, Miss Napper. Hello. We're trying to get to the bottom of another mystery. Can you help us? Of course. What's up? We're looking for a bike burglar. The only clue we have is a squawking bird. It sounded a lot like your African gray parrot over there. Can you tell us about it? Oh, yes. That's one of our most prized birds. What do you want to know? It says the bird can be found in the rainforest in Africa. Is it possible one could live in Green Lawn? Nah, a bird like that wouldn't be flying around a place like Green Lawn. The only African gray parrot in Green Lawn is right here at this very zoo. There's no way it could have escaped, like this morning, for instance. Hmm, this morning? <laughs> nope. Fed this little one breakfast. In fact, my shift started at 6 a.m. Besides, the bird keeper and I keep these birds under pretty good lock and key. We're the only ones with keys to the bird exhibit. Hmm. Thanks for the info. No problem. Well, I've got a skedaddle. It's penguin feeding time. But if you have any other questions, feel free to ask our bird keeper, Augie Bloom. Oh, there he is now. He's just saying hello to all our birds. Did you hear that? He sounded just like the African gray parrot. Wait a second. What if the sounds weren't made by birds, but by people pretending to be birds? But why would they pretend to be birds? Maybe so the thief could send signals without being seen. Like a secret message? Yeah. Mrs. Nugent said she heard the squawks just before she got to the storage room. Maybe the thief was signaling to another thief. I think you're on to something. I mean, if anyone could make a perfect bird call, it would be someone working at the zoo. Do you think it was Irene Napper? She knows a lot about animals, and she had a set of jingling keys. But she also said she started her shift at 6 a.m. The bikes were stolen this morning. What about the bird keeper, Augie Bloom? Miss Napper did say they both carry keys. We'll need more evidence. Let's follow Augie Bloom and see what we learn. He's over there by the owls. Hey there, little guy. Ooh, hoo, hoo. He sure does know his bird calls. Let's see what else we can find out. Did you just hear what I heard? That woman has squeaky shoes. Look, she's talking to Augie Bloom right now. Let's listen closely. Do you have everything? Of course. Nice work, Candace. And don't forget. Kooee, kooee. Kooee, kooee. That's got to be a secret signal. But what does it mean? I think we need to follow those squeaky shoes. Don't you? Definitely. Come on. Looks like she's headed to the parking lot. She's about to get into that van. What is she doing now? She's just sitting there. Did you hear that? It's Augie Bloom. Look, he's over by the bicycle rack. I think he's signaling for Candace to come. Look, he's taking a bike from the rack. And now Candace is driving the van toward him. <gasps> he put the bicycle in the van! Well, Clue Club, we found our bicycle burglars. I'm going to get Officer Fallon right away. Clue Club, 
We did it. We were right. Augie Bloom and his squeaky shoot accomplice, Candace, did use bird calls as secret signals. And they stole a ton of bicycles from all over town. You're kidding. Who needs that many bicycles? They were selling them to make extra money to buy a scaly side in Merganser. A scaly side in Wada Wada? Merganser. It's a rare bird. What do you think that one sounds like? Maybe like a sneaky scaly thief? Like this? Yeah! <laughs> 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 but you have to admit, bird whistles as secret messages are pretty cool when you're not using them to steal. Yeah. And hey, we're the Clue Club. We can make our own secret messages. How about... Tweet, tweet, tweet. What does that mean? It's time for a treat. Ice cream at Ellie's? You know it. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this secret message. What does that mean? It means, catch you next time, Clue Club. Want to hear more? Subscribe to Pinna to listen to all the episodes, plus a ton of other awesome podcasts, audiobooks, and more. With content added daily, there is always something new to discover. Go to pinna.fm. That's P-I-N-N-A dot F-M to start a free trial today.